My brothers and sisters, may the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me, and you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> We're seeing during the final days of the Easter season a score of examples from the Acts of the Apostles as to the kind of enthusiastic energy that marked the disciples as they preached the message, and in turn the multitudes of crowds that came to a belief and understanding and accepting that message. All of a sudden we find like three, four, five thousand people who end up becoming baptized and part of the faith. In such a scenario, of course, it's very easy to kind of lose, lose track of the fact that this was by far from an easy uh, road that was being, being made. There's many moments and allusions to some of the frustrations and persecutions that occur. And the gospel specifically today points upon that. It's first of all, it's a, a point of affirming the disciples and that they had the experience of seeing Jesus face to face and now must share what they had experienced with those who had not seen him. But at the same time, there is the warning, the clear indication that this will not be done easily, that there will be persecutions, that some will in fact literally lose their lives for the sake of that message. This kind of friction, if you will, that exists throughout the course of history between the success of the Spirit working in the midst of the people and the corresponding signs of, of wickedness and evil that continue to portray itself it's always something the church has to confront. And of course, the great gift is, is that in the promise Jesus gave in suggesting that the advocate would come, the advocate is always with us, that regardless of the events or the circumstances or the sad moments that might exist, God ultimately will prevail. It's sort of a good message for us to remember now at this particular moment in our life as a church here as we confront these terrible sins and wickedness of the past that occurred, unfortunately, even in the midst of our leadership, even in the midst of the priests, that there's the realization that even as these things have occurred, always throughout it and despite it, there has been a clear, pure, and healthy message of the gospel that's been proclaimed. And many have been true to that gospel to the very end. Today, then, as we pray for the church, let us pray for ourselves as well, that we might keep our faith strong regardless of the events that occur in our lives and recognize that God indeed is near. He's close to us in his son who gave us his life for us, He's close to us in the advocate that he sends to sustain and support us.